Hello viewers, I'm Paul White and welcome to Paul's Train Vlogs. Anyway viewers, I am at the Powerhouse Museum at Ultimo for the third and final instalment of my mini-series. In front of me here we have a Steam Locomotive 1243 on static dis display. Um, anyway viewers, if you haven't yet subscribed to Paul's Train Vlogs, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and also don't forget please ring the notification bell icon to receive notifications about my current and future releases and thank you for watching Paul's Train Flux besides the locomotive there's a few semaphore signals as well as the trailer carriage beside it Years ago, the shunter will stand right about here, and and hold this device up, just like that, and and attach it to the carriage. Very high risk maneuver stuff. Anyway, first let's check out the um, Cab Patrol 43. Very interactive this display here. G'day mate, I'm the farmer. That's my shovel you can hear, scooping up the coal from the tender behind you. It takes a lot of practice to throw coal off the shovel into the firehole. You don't just chuck it in, you've got to aim the coal, spreading it out in a pattern to keep the fire burning hot. You've got to be fit to do this job. I probably shovel four tons of coal on a busy day. You've got to know when a steep hill is ahead too, because the fire must be built up to survive the extra steam to get us to the top. And... missing under pressure. As the fireman on this local, I'm responsible for keeping a good head of steam. That means keeping plenty of steam in the boiler. I watch the steam pressure gauge up there on the right. If the gauge needle falls, I shovel in more coal. It's the coal fire that causes the water in the boiler to turn into steam. I need to keep topping up the water as it evaporates. If I didn't, the fire would hit up the metal firebox so much it would fall out. The water left in the boiler would be instantly flush off the screen and kaboom! I wouldn't want to be around if that happened. <laughs> Speed of the regular. That's the big lever in front of you. 
I drive this local mate at 80 kilometres an hour when I'm running late. That's fast when you think this local mate with four four carries four people. I use the speed and momentum of the train to help me get it uphill, but I have to be careful that it doesn't get away from me going downhill. 70 of this type of locomotive were built between 1877 and 1882. They worked all over New South Wales as express, passenger, goods and mail trains. Unfortunately, there are only three left now. And fourth button in the wagon. That sound is the big steel buffers on the wagons bumping together. Sometimes part of my job as fireman is to join the wagons to the locomotive. I walk beside the locomotive as the driver reverses up to the wagons. Hooking the wagons on is a dangerous job. Those buffers on the front and back of the wagons have big springs inside to absorb the shock of the wagons bumping together. If I get caught between those buffers, I get squashed. And last one. Welcome aboard, I'm the locomotive driver. It's very important to sound the whistle, it scares stray animals off the track. The whistle warns people too, like track workers on the line and inside tunnels. I blow the whistle before reaching the railway crossing. It lets car drivers know not to cross in front of the train. The train may weigh up to 400 tonnes and take half a kilometre or more to stop. That's why train whistles are very loud, because they need to be heard a long way off. Anyway, first I'd like to show you guys the interior of a governor's carriage. I'll show you guys a few of the model train toys. Anyway, for is um, that is all for this episode of Paul's Train Vlogs. There's not much I can film, so I'm going to wrap up the video. Um, thank you for watching Paul's Train Vlogs. Um, don't forget to give the video the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and favourite the video. And I'll see you next time. Until we meet again, it's goodbye for now.